Akash Network has continued to solidify its position as a leader in decentralized infrastructure, particularly in the AI and machine learning spaces. One of the most recent developments that is a standout has been the launch of Prime Intellect on Akash's high-density GPUs. Prime Intellect's marketplace is designed to enable decentralized training of large language models with contributors earning fractional ownership of the final AI products based on their inputs. This launch pretty much highlights Akash's growing reputation for providing the necessary computational power to fuel the next generation of AI innovation. In another significant development, Breb.dev, which is a primary distribution partner of Akash in the AI machine learning space, was recently acquired by NVIDIA. While this acquisition initially stirred some concerns among Akash stakeholders about potentially losing a key distributor, Breb.dev continues to actually host Akash GPUs on its platform. It's also important to note that the relationship between Akash and NVIDIA could evolve in interesting ways, particularly given the strong recognition of Akash's capabilities within NVIDIA's leadership ranks. So this acquisition could actually potentially open new avenues for collaboration and growth, though the full implications remain to be witnessed. Now let's talk about Meta for a quick second. Meta's release of Llama 3.1, which is essentially an open source large language model with 405 billion parameters and requiring extensive GPU resources, marked another milestone for Akash. Because within 24 hours of Llama 3.1's release, the Akash community successfully deployed Llama 3.1 onto Akash GPUs. As a result, GPU rentals on Akash have surged to new heights with utilization rates comfortably seating at 45%. Greg Osuri, Akash's CEO and co-founder, pointed out that Llama 3.1's deployment could actually be a very pivotal moment for the network, positioning it as the go-to platform for the open source AI community. Another major highlight was the transition of a cache chat API to a permissionless model. This move represents a significant step forward in Akash's commitment to decentralization and accessibility. Akash's chat API, which leverages open source models like Llama 3.1, is now available to developers without any need to sign up or data collection, offering free access funded by Overclock Labs, who are essentially the developers of Akash. Overall, there's just so much stuff happening in that ecosystem. Um, Akash Alpha is also a really, really good Twitter account to follow if you want to keep up to date and on all the latest developments in that ecosystem. They focus purely on Akash. So um, yeah, August and July have been significant times in the advancement for Akash, with each development reinforcing Akash's position as a key player in the intersection of decentralized infrastructure and artificial intelligence. I am like a huge fangirl of the Akash ecosystem. I love their team. I love what they're doing. Um, yeah, super bullish on this ecosystem. But that's all the updates for now. And up until next time, peace.